So I want you to write dual court system. You're going to make a chart on the next page after your two column notes. How am I going to write? Okay. Now, on one side, we're going to do federal and, uh, Kelly, what's federal mean? Um, that it's like the entire country. The national, right? On the other side, we're going to do state. Okay. All right. Now, who knows what is the highest court in all of the country? Supreme. The U.S. Supreme Court. Now, does anyone know, do you think there's juries at the U.S. Supreme Court? Yes. yes. No. no. Believe it or not, there's not. There are what we, we call, what do we call the judges? We don't call them judges. Please stop yelling out. What is it? Justices. Okay, anyone know how many? Sienna? Nine. Nine justices. How do you think these people get their jobs? Vicki? Um, the president appoints them. Okay, they're appointed by the president, right? And this is a huge, huge power. Try to draw these, okay? Um, Every time the president appoints a new Supreme Court justice, it is a very big deal, okay? Uh, Obama has appointed a few. Does anyone know any of the names? No. Uh, oh, my God, I'm about to say. Um, don't, don't tell me anything. <laughs> hey. We'll come back to you. Um. There's, I think, I don't know her name, but she's kind of older. Um, yeah. Fell asleep at the. Um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yeah. yeah. She fell asleep. Yeah, she yeah. did. Yeah. Uh, so excellent. I know, right? Now she was not chosen by Obama. She was chosen by Clinton. Um, we have another one. I, I said the first Latino. Yeah. Her initials are S. S. Hold on. Sotomayor. Sonia Sotomayor. All right, we're going to cover most of the justices later. But nine justices, how long do you think? Do you think they serve four years or? For life. For life, all right? They either retire or sometimes they will pass on, all right? Pass on or pass away? They will die. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, do you think Florida has a Supreme Court? Yes. yes. They yes. do, okay? So let's put... Florida Supreme Court over here. Now, they don't have nine, they have a little less. What do you think? Seven. 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 And we will cover them when we do state courts about how they get their jobs what their requirements are, yep. I just have a question. Mm -hmm. So say I'm writing a petition about um, about Common Core standards and about the Mind Program. Who would I write it to? Your, the governor you could write to. You could write to your state representative, state senator, all right? You could even send it to the mayor. Um, okay, so. Those are the highest in both. Now, cases sometimes, and that's what we're looking at. We're going to look at how cases make their way up the different levels. Micah? For, for the, 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 the courses that we have to study on your site, mm -hmm. yeah. um, yes, why, why are you asking? On okay, good. Um, yeah, they're on my website. All right, there's a PowerPoint and a Word document. All right, so below this, we have what's called the Court of Appeals. God bless you. 
okay? And just like you see here on the federal side, there is an appeals court as well. <coughs> Now, does anyone know what an appeal is? I feel like Cameron is waving his hand. I don't have to turn around. He is! Cameron, what is an appeal? It's um, when you're charged for something and you don't like it, you can have the option to appeal, and then next higher court hears your demand. Okay, and a good thing he said there is if you don't like it, okay? If you win your court case, you're never going to appeal. All right, I'm going to give you a definition later for what an appeal is. All right, you're asking a, a higher court to look at your trial to make sure that you had a fair trial. All right, what do we call the rights of the accused? Oh. It's a whole process. I try to say. Wait, was it? Wait. Yeah. Okay, I have two things. Wait, okay. is, it, is it the Miranda rights? Or is it, That's part of it. Or is it um, one is not... One is innocent until proven guilty. That's part of it. Self-incrimination. That's part of it, self-incrimination. Can I tell it? Okay, what are you going to say? Um, you have the right to remain right. silent. Right. Right. Okay, those are the Miranda rights. We're going to come back to those. Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus is part of this, yeah? Rights of the accused. I also have one thing. Um, there are 13 appeals courts in the federal court. Excellent. We're gonna, you're going to play an iCivics game where you're going to jump around to all the different courts. All right. Um, I still haven't heard it yet. This is the steps that the government must take. All right. They are required to take for anyone who's been accused of a crime. Due process. Excellent. Yeah? For this, that's a good question. All right, so for both of them, in the national and the state, it is three judges. And what's important to remember about this level is it's not really a trial. All right, you're asking a court, really, you're asking a panel of judges to look at your court case and decide if you got a fair trial. So do you think there's juries at this level? Yes. No. No juries at this level either. So let's put right here, no juries. Here, 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 and here. So let's go to the level where there are juries, okay? And this is where 90%, we'll say, of court cases take place, is at the local court. Anyone want to guess what we call our local court? Um, district court? That's a good guess, because oh, that's what they call it on the federal side. Isn't it like the Miami-Dade? Miami-Dade. Um, county jail? County court. court yes. yes, they might take you to Miami-Dade County <laughs> Jail. All right, so we'll call this Miami-Dade County Court. And Cameron just said it. What do they call the local? Okay, they call it the district court. 